Hey everyone, first off, let me say thank you for watching. This particular video is very similar to one I did just recently with the comparison of the three maps. That video I filmed actually all the shots from the exterior. And this one here is partially for a request that I had to show the frame rates. And I'm pretty sure that I mentioned in the other video that there really is no noticeable frame rate difference between the three maps. So I'm here in, in roughly the same area again. This is the uh, Pyrenees mountain range between France and Spain. And you can see I'm flying the Google map, the default Bing and the updated Bing. No add-on sceneries, latest NVIDIA driver, latest world sim update. And so you can see how there really isn't a lot of difference in my frame rates here. I'm averaging very close to 40, 41, 42 in all of the areas. Now this particular plane I don't have a whole lot of experience with. This is the Boeing 247D by Wing 42, I think is Yes, Wing 42. Uh, again, the Boeing 247D. Downloaded this plane last night, actually. And this is the first time I've gotten to fly it because, of course, after I downloaded it, I started having issues. Not because of the plane, don't misunderstand me. But anyhow, it necessitated reinstalling flight sim, so which I know many of us have had to do many times. This is really uh, one of the few times I've actually had to do that. I, I've been flying fairly steady for a long time without that. But you can see here, if you're looking at the maps, there's not a lot of difference really between the three of them at this point. The default Bing, I guess, has a little bit more green in it, but it doesn't seem to be a whole lot of difference. The Google and updated Bing's map, updated Bing map, were a little bit blocky in a couple of areas. There's a couple of splotches, a couple of areas where it's not really detailed. Like the map is incomplete. I don't notice that with the default Bing. Also, even though I have a very, very good connection with very low latency from my gaming router, it still was a little slow here and there to load in some of the frames. Now, I do have the cache enabled in the map enhancement tool not in the game itself, but in the map enhancement tool, and I did clear that cache in between the Google map and the updated Bing. The default Bing I flew first, so that really didn't affect it because the map application was not running, so the cache was not being used. But then I did the updated Bing, which almost seemed to be the smoothest, but it's really hard to tell. They're, they're so, so close. Uh, really was hard to tell and again I did not really notice much frame rate difference in these areas at all they all seem to be very very similar flying through this area but I hope this helps uh, you can see the frame rates up there I hope they're but they're all pretty much at 40 41 40 41 is all three of them right now that's what they're all staying around at this point these graphics with my settings that I currently have in this new airplane. Again, this is the Boeing 247 Delta by Wing 42, the simulation company. And this was just released literally just in the last few days, I think. This is the first I've seen of it. And I I had to get it. It's, it's so similar looking to the DC-3, which we don't have. It flies very similar to the DC-3, although it doesn't seem to be as powerful for some reason. The DC-3, to me, seem to have a bit more, I don't know, power to it. 